Welcome to our next talk, uh, Vicente Aguilera Das. He's going to um, tell us that we're not only followed by the government, and he shows it with a live uh, demo. So, and hopefully he says everything will go uh, all right today. So give him a warm applause for his talk. Thanks. Good morning. Um, well, at this moment, perhaps some of us are being uh, investigated or under investigation without our knowledge. But at the same time, maybe some of us are investigating some other. Okay, we don't have the same infrastructure and resources that the government, but we have access to a lot of information, uh, public information, and we have the tools and we have the knowledge to exploit this information and to generate intelligence, okay? This talk is about, uh, well, no. Uh, I will speak about uh, a tool that I have developed, Team for um, to analyze uh, the public information in social networks, mainly Twitter. And I will talk um, mainly about uh, five points. The first point is, uh, is about uh, why um, the social networks are uh, focusing my attention and why I chose Twitter to analyze, okay? The second point is about, uh, well, uh, how this kind of tools can help you, can help you to understand the, the information and to, to interpret uh, and to generate intelligence. And the third point is uh, definition or team for it, and I will present some of the um, main features. And the last part is the most important because I will show uh, a live demo, so I will hope nothing uh, goes wrong, but uh, this is the idea, okay? Uh, why? Why uh, is important to analyze social networks? Mainly, um, because nowadays, if uh, we want to know what happens in the world in real time, we need to monitor the social networks, okay? Um, and earthquake and uh, a terrorist attack, uh, social event, uh, all is uh, uh, in the social networks, uh, and we can access this information and we can exploit this information. This is the most important part, to exploit this information, okay? And uh, why I chose uh, Twitter? Because uh, between all the social networks, Twitter have a lot of uh, activity, not only because this social network have a lot of uses, because uh, also because it's very easy to post a tweet and to, it's very fast. We need only a few seconds to post a tweet. And the second reason is because um, all the, the most part of the content in, in Twitter is public, it's public information, uh, so we can access. Um, the third reason is because the most content in Twitter is uh, text. So we know we know to how to um, uh, exploit the text, how to um, extract the information. Uh, so it's a good uh, a good network to to analyze. Okay, how can uh, help uh, Team Folic to investigate uh, purposes? Uh, well, regardless of the type of investigation. Um, Basically, exist three main uh, types or targets for our analysis. The first one is individual. For example, um, it's maybe interesting for us to know who is behind a uh, Twitter account, or, for example, um, what are uh, 
the relationships with other people, or we can predict uh, where this individual um, will be tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Okay, this is important. So the second group is uh, an organization. Uh, we can investigate an organization, for example, a company or a terrorist group or a community. Okay, so we can ask uh, something like uh, who are part of this uh, organization or, for example, what are the relationships between the members of this uh, community? Okay, and the third uh, target of analysis is uh, a place, a place or a specific location. For example, uh, we need uh, we can need to to know um, which people are in the Eiffel Tower at this moment, or what. Uh, Media content are posting the users at this uh, place. Okay, so Timfoli can extract all this kind of information. So this information is useful for several purposes. For example, for security forces, obviously, for uh, intelligence analysts, for journalists, for security pen testers, for uh, social engineering, and so on. But not only is useful for professionals. It's useful only for us, for, every, for everyone, because we need to, to know what is the, the exposure of our information, okay? It's important, it's, uh, it is important for our privacy. Okay, so what, uh, uh, what is uh, Teamfolic? Teamfolic is a tool that I have developed uh, few years ago, I, 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 I am working uh, with this tool and um, now I present, yesterday I present, I released the last version, it's a specific version for, for this camp and it's a tool uh, that I write in, in it's coding in, in Python and it's open source so you can download the code and you can modify and you can uh, improve uh, this tool and you can use for for your uh, for your benefit. So it's a social media uh, social media intelligence tool. So uh, this tool can extract information not only for Twitter, also for for different social networks, but mainly for for Twitter and uh, collect a lot of uh, a large volume of information of tweets uh, for the timeline of a user of in the global timeline and. Is able to extract uh, interesting information and to format this uh, this information in in a form that uh, we can easily um, interpret and and generate intelligence. Uh, the requirements for to install this tool um, are um, basically uh, Python, obviously, and Twipy. Twipy is a is a Python library to access. Uh, the Twitter API, okay. Uh, Change two is uh, another library for uh, that I use for for the template for the output uh, HTML. Um, we need uh, tokens, web tokens for the authentication with the Twitter API. Okay. So you can download from from this tool from my website. And also it's included in, in several Linux distributions uh, like Buscador or Kane or Black Arch. Okay. And well, as input for, for this tool, you can have three options. You can uh, have uh, a user, for example, we can analyze a user, a Twitter user, we can analyze a place and a specific uh, location. You can uh, you can uh, enter the coordinates of a place, and you can uh, search for for content, for text or for uh, media content. Okay, 
So, and the result is an HTML report, but as you can generate output in, in several formats, for example, in, in CSV, uh, you can import this data in, in, in other formats, in other platforms, and you can uh, generate a key email to, for uh, import the data in Google Earth, for example. Okay. Uh, the last version, as uh, I can uh, say, Previously, is uh, the dot two dot one is the release yesterday, and I have developed it for mainly for new features that I will show uh, in the last part of this conference, and I think it's a it's a tool that you can use for for uh, several purposes. This this is the output for the help. Uh, as you can see, is, uh, we have a lot of parameters, so it's important to, to know uh, every parameter, uh, how we can combine the parameters to, to exploit uh, um, with, uh, with more powerful um, the, the capacity of, the, of this tool, okay? So this is the header of the HTML report for a user, for example, for the uh, Central Intelligence Agency. And we can uh, see some uh, specific information for this account. And we can see uh, the menu for, for the different features, um, some of the main features of this tool. Okay? As you can use the tool in a, in a console, in a terminal, okay? um, at this moment, uh, uh, I don't have a graphical interface, so you need to to be able to use the terminal. And you can search information about the user. Uh, for example, what is the home of this user? Is, uh, this tool is able to answer this question. Or about the place, uh, uh, specifying the, the coordinates for, for a specific uh, location. Um, and about content, for example, um, we can filter in the timeline, in the global timeline, for for a specific keywords, or we can share for for media content, or we can share for uh, the original tweets, not retweets, or and so on. Okay. Okay. About uh, what information we can extract about about a user? Well, we can extract a lot of data, and we need to. Um, to analyze this information because intelligence is, is different from the data, okay? Uh, the data is the first step and we need to, to analyze this information and we need to generate intelligence. So we can extract uh, basic information about this account, for example, uh, the, um, the Twitter ID, the location for this user, uh, the status of his uh, shell location, um, or how, uh, how many times this user is listed in, 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 in for by other users, okay? Or we can identify uh, which applications are used uh, are using this user? For example, uh, you are using uh, you are using Instagram or Flickr or Facebook or uh, RunKeeper or similar. Which devices are you uh, using? For example, um, um, an iPad or an iPhone or Mac, Android or similar. And which is the the use frequency for every application and for every um, device, okay? So we can, for example, identify if a user is, uh, how many users are behind a Twitter account, for example, analyzing this kind of information. And we can start hashtags and user mentions and likes. We can, it's interesting to, to know um, about what is speaking this, about, uh, about um, what keywords, uh, which keywords are using uh, this uh, user or this uh, organization? What are the relations? And we can uh, filter for, for the text. For example, we can um, analyze the word frequency. Um, for example, uh, 
which are the the words most used for by this user and which is the frequency uh, we can know what are the the beside prices for this user we can for example identify if this user is traveling from uh, from Barcelona to Paris and after to London and we can know how many days are staying in every place. For example, in Barcelona is staying for five days after travel to Paris for two days and after a week in, in London. And we need, uh, maybe we need to know um, how is traveling. For example, if the user is using uh, um, a flight or a car or, or is working. For example, we can uh, uh, generate this kind of intelligence. Okay, and we can identify the um, identity in other social networks. For example, if this user uh, is uh, registered in, in, in Foursquare, in Facebook, or in 20 social networks, more or less, at this time, and we can analyze the followers and uh, friends. We can extract all the followers and all the friends um, and with all the, the, all the features that uh, the Twitter API can, um, can allow. For, for example, we can extract uh, all the followers for, for uh, for a member of a terrorist organization, and we can uh, identify relationships between different organizations or between uh, members of the same organization. Okay, and we can extract also all the conversations or for a user. For example, uh, we can uh, identify. Uh, all the conversations in, in similar to, to WhatsApp or a chat, and we can identify with, uh, with people we are, uh, we are speaking. Okay, this is about the user, some of the most important things, but also we can start information about the place. For example, we can search for, uh, in this place, we can search for uh, uh, which uh, hashtags or, um, or which uh, users are in this place um, or in, uh, in uh, a specific location. And we can uh, identify the users, we can identify all the information, all the media content or all the relationships between, uh, this, uh, between these users. Okay, and also we can uh, search information about the global timeline, not for any specific user, not for any specific location, but uh, we are searching information in the global timeline. Okay. Uh, well, so this is the moment uh, for this is the time for for play with uh, Team Um I will show only some of the of the functions because uh, the features because uh, Teamfolic is now is is uh, complex to use and okay okay I have connection internet connection. This is the, the help, okay? A lot of parameters that we can combine to to improve the, the power, okay? So, for example, you can extract uh, information about the location. For example, we uh, now uh, we make a search for people in the Sarada Familia in Barcelona, my city, okay. We are searching for the coordinates, okay. And we copy the coordinates. 
So we are searching for these coordinates and one one kilometer for from this uh, specific location, okay? And we can analyze, for example, only the last 20 tweets uh, posting in this location from the most recent to the to the older, okay? I am using maybe you can start sorry a piece mm -hmm. search Oh, it's correct. Yes. Okay, five kilometers and one hundred tweets. Uh, my, I'm sharing my uh, the connection of my mobile device, so it's not a good connection. But now we are analyzing uh, the last 100 tweets posted in this location, and we can uh, we will show how we can identify uh, different users. Okay, for example, this is the report. Okay, and. This, uh, they are the tweets posting in these coordinates in, in a radio of five kilometers. We can identify uh, the date and time and the specific coordinates, the media content, uh, the application used. Okay, for example, Instagram. In this case, uh, we can uh, view the tweet. And this is the user that post the, the tweet. For example, we can view the the picture. Italy, or we can view the tweet. Okay, this, uh, this is Instagram. Okay, uh, we can uh, view the user profile, or we can uh, request for the coordinates to, to view in, in Google Maps uh, this place. Okay, is this tweet is in this location? Okay, and we can see also not only images, also videos. For example, you can see videos, interesting. Okay, and this is a part. Also, we can identify. Uh, these users in what in which uh, social networks are uh, registered. Okay, for example, we can locate these users. Um, this user, for example, have a not. This user uh, have an account in Twitter and Instagram, and the picture is different. Uh, uh, the image of, the, uh, of his profile is different. So and the name can be different also. For example, uh, this Coco and Evento Seco Mobile. Uh, so I, I am not searching for, for the image or, or the username. So we can uh, we, we cannot have um, false positives. Uh, maybe we can have false negatives, but not false positives. OK? Um, we can. Wait. We can uh, identify also the hashtags that these users are using in, in several social networks to see uh, about what is speaking this user. And also, we can identify not only the people that have uh, 
uh, the geolocation enabled in his device, but also people that uh, are targeted by another user. For example, uh, these users are in Instagram, the first column are users that are in Instagram and don't have the geolocation uh, enabled, okay? Uh, but this user is targeted by this other user, okay? In this date and time, in this picture, in this uh, image, for example, we can uh, see the image, and we can see the tweet, the tweet have a picture in Instagram, we can enter uh, in Instagram, we can see uh, the same picture, okay? Okay, so it's important to know that uh, our privacy not de uh, depends also on third party, okay? Uh, maybe we are aware of for the, important, the importance of our security of, and of our privacy, but maybe our friend is uh, not, not have this conscience uh, about uh, security or privacy, okay? So, a lot of people only analyzing the last 100 tweets, okay? So this is an, an example. Um, also, for example, we can uh, search information about a user, for example, so, Chris, uh, Chris, DPS3. For example, Chris DP3. We can search, for example, um, information about about his account, about the source applications, or about hashtags and mentions and media content that is posting this user. In the last, for example, um, 100 tweets. Obviously, we can analyze, uh, we can extract more information if we uh, analyze all his timeline, all the tweets of a user or large volume or, or tweets. But for this demo, we can use, uh, and for this uh, connection, we can use only the last uh, 100 tweets. Okay. So now, Tim Folik is searching in the timeline of this user and is analyzing all the content of uh, all these tweets and are extracting the most uh, important information and are uh, collecting and we will display this information in an HTML report, okay? So we can also specify the name of the, of the report, but by default is teamfolic.html. Okay, so this is the user, this is his profile. We can see the picture. And this is, have a lot of a lot of activity, more than ten tweets by day. Uh, is from Madrid. For La Brada is a city from from Madrid. Have the geolocation enabled? It's true. Okay. Maybe you can. Um, and we can search, for example, for for apps. Uh, is Twitter is using basically Twitter for Android? It's an Android user, and also it's an Instagram user. But basically, it's posting the tweets for from the uh, the client for for Android. Okay. We can also see the first use of this device. Okay. For example, it's Instagram 
uh, using in the in this uh, data in this date, and we can view the first tweet uh, posted by this device. Okay, and the last tweet, for example, we can see the hashtags. This is a hashtags that the user are posting in the last 100 tweets, uh, classified by date and time, in how many uh, retweets and likes. We can see the, the tweet. This is the user. For, so this is a, a retweet, because we are searching information by this user. You have another call for this row for the row of the of the twitter of that user that we are analyzing at this at this moment and um, also we can see all the hashtags in his timeline okay so we can have an idea of uh which topics are are uh, are speaking this user for example Okay. Uh, also, we can, uh, in, the, in this case, uh, we have a row for every tweet, okay? So maybe a hashtag is uh, repeated in, in different tweets. So here we have every hashtag, the date for every hashtag. Uh, when is using uh, this hashtag, okay, between, uh, in this period, and how many retweets, likes, and count, okay? For example, uh, Dia de la Amistad, uh, Champions League, and so on, okay? And also we can see the last uh, or the top, uh, the hashtags must be used by this user in, in his timeline, okay? So, you have this information, and the same is similar for the user mentions, okay? We can identify all the user mentions for this user. We can see the tweet, we can see the, the, the mention, the profile, okay? We can see a picture or video or tweet. We can see also have a lot of user mentions. We can also, uh, every user mention, uh, how many times are mentioned this user, okay, between uh, the period of time and the same information that the hashtag, okay? And also we have the most uh, user mentions, okay? So maybe, uh, surely, these users are friends or have a relationship with uh, the target of analysis, okay? Well, also we have uh, information about the media, okay? For example, the uh, images and video that this user are posting uh, in his timeline. For example, this uh, picture from Instagram, uh, several retweets, several likes. This is the, the user that have posted this, uh, this content, this media content. And in the other uh, column, we have uh, Okay, this is uh, the column for the original user that are posting this tweet, and this is the user who uh, uh, make, uh, uh, make a, a retweet, okay? So, we can identify uh, also platforms or applications, Muffer or twi uh, Twitter for iPhone, okay? We can identify little details in the in a picture, so we can identify the exact uh, location, or we can identify some uh, 
keyboard or some P tool that, that is useful for, for our, our investigation. Okay. And well, we have out of information only with uh, the request about the last 100 tweets. So you can imagine all the information that we can start analyzing uh, all his uh, timeline. Okay, but we can start more information. For example. About the same user, we can ask that uh, information about the last 10 locations, the last 10 uh, visitor locations. Okay? Well, uh, sorry, I, I will start by default. Uh, the tool analyzed the last uh, 200 tweets, but for this demo, we analyze only. Uh, for example, uh, 20 tweets. Okay. So, tool is executing the operation, it's analyzing. Okay. Finish it. We can access to the report. And now we can see the geolocation information. Well, only only one tweet in, in the last 20 tweets, but uh, we can start. Sorry, I, I will use another user with more information. For example, Steve Wozniak with 200 tweets. It's, uh, it's very fast. We have analyzing 200 tweets and start and collecting and analyzing information. Uh, okay, this is the account of profile image of Steve Wozniak. Uh, Steve Wozniak have uh, enabled his uh, job location. Okay, so we consult, uh, we request the, okay. Uh, we see the, the different, uh, different tweets with uh, his coordinates and the application. For example, this tweet is posting in this location. Okay. So, if you analyze large volumes of uh, tweets, we, you can predict uh, his, uh, his, uh, the next movements for this user. For example, um, you can identify Sponti is posting also media content. Okay, but we have more information. Another section in the in the report, we have uh, the route uh, that this uh, user has followed in the in the last days. For example, uh, is have a lot of activity this user. From now, this user is in San Jose, but. During two uh, two days, previously is in Los Gatos, uh, San Jose, California, uh, and other cities that I can uh, I cannot pronounce, <laughs> and we can see all the we can follow the the, the trip uh, uh, of this user. Okay, maybe this is interesting for our investigation to follow this user uh, or or to see uh, uh, which cities are visiting these users. Okay, but also we have information about uh, the top locations. This is important because if you are posting tweets, a lot of tweets from the same location, 
or every day in, uh, in the night, for example, this location uh, surely is your home, okay? So you are revealing your, your home, your workplace, your favorite restaurant, um, so on, only uh, following um, few tweets, okay? For example, this user is, uh, we are analyzing, remember, we are, ana we are analyzing only uh, 200 tweets, so this information can have, uh, um, it's not uh, exactly or more, uh, but this is useful, okay? We can see that this user is posting information, uh, posting tweets, all the, day, all the days, uh, in, in um, a lot of, uh, in every moment of the day, in every day, this is in, in red uh, color, uh, is the day that I posted more tweets. So Tuesday is very active, this user, from this location. And we can uh, view, we can view the, the, the place. Or oh, this is, a, okay. This is a park, maybe. We have a shop or is a favorite place for this user. Okay, this uh, location is also interesting uh, because a lot of tweets are posted here. And this is the home of uh, Steve Wozniak. Okay. So. It's a very big house, okay. Uh, so you can predict uh, the, the next places for this user, or you can see, okay, every Friday this user is in this restaurant, so you can, uh, you can uh, go to this restaurant on a Friday at this time, and maybe you can, uh, you can find uh, this user. Well, we can set more information, for, for example, uh, about uh, uh, news agencies, for example, CNN. We can set, for example, the last or the 25 words most used by this uh, uh, agency uh, in the last... Uh, 300 tweets, for example. Okay, this is interesting because we can um, we can use uh, we can compare uh, this information, for example, and uh, United States agency and and uh, Russian agency. Okay, and we can compare about the topics. Okay, for example. CNN, so location enable, okay. Um, this is the word frequency. Uh, uh, this tool also uh, drop empty words in, in English and Spanish. For example, uh, particles or, or preposition are dropped. So I, I, uh, I try to to select only the, the important uh, important uh, words, okay? For example, CNN is speaking about Trump uh, a lot, it's the, it's the most uh, used word, but also president, uh, plants, military, chi uh, China, Google, Venezuela, okay, Korea. Uh, well, now I will compare with uh, that's, uh, I think is that's a ref edge. That is an, uh, no, I don't remember the, <laughs> sorry, one moment. That's, 
agency news that's agency okay so russian russian agency news with the words in in english okay so we are searching for the last 300 tweets and um, okay and this is the the report that's word frequency uh well this is not speaking about about Donald Trump but it's speaking Russian Russia sanctions uh, Kremlin uh, army anti-russian Putin okay okay we can uh, this is only a one example but we can analyze uh, the most important is to analyze large volume of, of data okay um, we can search also information about uh, not about the place. We can make uh, an example about. We can search in the global timeline, not for any specific user, not for any specific place. We can search, for example, uh, tweets in the global timeline that contains Sha. Uh, this uh, hashtag, and um, also. Uh, media content okay in the last uh, 300 tweets maybe you are posting uh, about uh, this seven or this conference okay we are analyzing in the global timeline 200 tweets at this moment. I hope you have a better connection. <laughs> okay, so in the last 300 tweets, we found uh, 97, uh, sorry, nine, uh, uh, 97 uh, tweets with uh, this criteria, okay? So, uh, uh, is your tweets not? Mm. Okay, this is the tweets. We are searching for tweets with uh, the this hashtag and with med media content. Okay. The date and time, so we can search the media content. Okay. So it's another form of identify users that are in, in allocation and don't have the allocation enabled. Okay. For example, different users. Uh, For example, we can we can identify uh, the most used application in this uh, camp. For example, if we are uh, Android users or Apple users, for example. Okay. They are retweets. Okay, this is a retweet, but we can filter also by by the original tweets or retweets. For example, okay. No tweets about this conference. That is not good. <laughs> okay, or maybe it's good. It depends on the point of view. And okay, this is an example. We can see the tweet. Okay. 
Um, for example, we can uh, search no retweets media. Um, the last 100 to identify the original original uh, tweets, uh, the original users that posted uh, these tweets. Okay. Now we don't have retweets, only original tweets. So it's also important to, uh, we have media content. Okay. Okay, this is an example of uh, the kind of things that uh, we can identify. If you are interested in more details about this tool, in two hours, more or less, I I will teach in a workshop uh, about uh, how to use this tool for with uh, all the parameters and combination, okay, and real case. So that is all. Thank you for your time, okay. And you have any questions? Thanks. So there's uh, another five minutes for question and answer. Does anybody have a question for Vicente? Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah you show in one of the HTML reports, you had like red uh, Twitters and blue Twitters. What, yeah. What's the difference? Yes. The difference is that uh, the red uh, color indicates that uh, this day the user is posting uh, the most of the tweets. For example, okay, so you can post uh, 20 tweets in a week, but uh, the Friday you post the most of the tweets, uh, 12 tweets this day, so it's uh, marketing in red color. The, the blue color is that this day uh, are posting tweets, and if you don't have uh, colors, this day is without tweets. Okay. Next. Hi. You have only shown output into uh, HTML files. Is there also an option to output the data into a database or a graph database? Um, at this moment, uh, the information is not stored in a database, but uh, in a future, in a near future, yes, because it's important to, to store this information and to correlate this information with previous experiences. Okay. So is there another question? Nobody? Well, the, um, give a warm applause for, uh, for Vicente. Thank you very much.